एवरी वन टूडे वी आर स्टार्ट थीम एटलेस ऑफ एनाटमी इट्स वी आर स्टडी हेड एंड न्यूरो एटमी पार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर दी सी इंडेक्स दिस इज द इंडेक्स ऑफ हेड पार्ट फर्स्ट वी आर स्टडी ऑफ क्रेनियल बोन In cranial bone, twenty-one topics is there: skull lateral view, skull anterior view, skull posterior view, and cranial suture. Ex- exterior anterior of the clavaria, base of the skull external view, base of the skull internal view, orbit. Orbit uh, in bone in orbit we are study bone and opening for neurovascular structure, orbit uh, and uh, neighboring structure. nose nasal skeleton nose paranasal sinuses temporal bone sphenoid bone occipital bone and ethmoid bone heart plate mandible and hyoid bone temporo mandibular joint and temporo mandibular joint and biomechanics in teeth in situ temporal teeth and the dental prone permanent teeth and the dental panoramic tomogram individual teeth deciduous teeth So we are study now cranial bones. It's a skull part of lateral view. First we are study about old bones, old skull bones. So it's a frontal bone, it's parietal bone, it's occipital bone, it's a temporal bone of mastoid process, it's temporal bone of styroid process, it's a zygotic bone. it's a nasal bone lacrimal bone it's ethmoid bone it's a supraorbital foramen also so we are study about in suture uh, in between frontal and uh, parietal bone pronus suture present this is and squamous suture present here and uh, lambdoid suture present also in occipital bone and uh, parietal bone between It's a sphenoparietal suture. See their side view. See and uh, sphenofrontal suture they present. Sphenosquamous suture they present. See. Uh, so first of all, we talk about the lateral view of the skull. It's called a cranium because uh, um, this view was lacked as an uh, Introduction to this skull because it displays the greatest number of cranial bone, indicated by a different color in B. Huh. The individual bones and their silent features, as well as the cranial sutures and apertures, are described in the units that. This unit review the principle of structure of the lateral aspect of the skull. The chapter, as well as a whole, is. intended to familiarize the reader with the name of the cranial bone before proceed to final anatomical details and the relationships of the bone to the another teeth and uh, uh, described in a separate unit so i'm also told b part of collard so this part of b diagram it it's a lateral view of the cranial bone See, all bones are present here. Frontal bone, parietal bone, occipital bone, temporal bone of squamous part, temporal bone of petrous part. This is petrous part. This is squamous part. This is temporal bone of uh, tympanic part. Um, here present is a sphenoid bone of greater wing. Greater wing here present, and uh, inner side present uh, is a lesser wing. Ethmoid bone is uh, present in the orbit. and uh, lacrimal bone also present in orbit nasal bone zygomatic bone its maxilla and its mandible you see next diagram 
its uh, ossification of the cranial bone left lateral view the bone of the skull either developed directly from mesenchyma connected tissue intramembranous ossification gray uh, or from indirectly by the ossification of the cartilaginous model and contral ossification is blue uh, elements derived from uh, intramembranous and uh, and contral ossification is uh, desmocranium and uh, condocranium so you s also see b part it's uh, called uh, and chondrial ossification elements derived from inter membrane and uh, and chondrial ossification uh, called uh, desmocranium and chondrocranium may fuse together to form a single bone example the occipital bone temporal bone and a sphenoid bone the clavicle is the only tuber tubular bone that uh, undergoes membranous ossification this exam explain uh, why congenital defects of uh, intramembranous ossification affect both the skull and clavicle so it's called uh, cleidocranial dysostosis then we talk about uh, next diagram it's a c part c it's orange part of a uh, viscerocranium this is orange part and gray color is part of the neurocranium show mainly uh, if we see lateral left lateral view so this skull form a bony uh, capsule that enclose the brain sensory organs and vista of the head the greater size of neurocranium and cranial vault uh, relative to the viscerocranium facial skeleton is a typical primate feature directly uh, correlated with the larger primate brain if we are talking about what a difference of the neurocranium and viscerocranium so uh, neurocranium is a frontal bone and uh, in viscerocranium is a nasal bone in neurocranium is sphenoid bone in viscerocranium is a lacrimal bone and uh, excluding the um, petro um, pet excluding the pterygoid process in sphenoid bone um, here present uh, uh, tem temporal bone in neurocranium temporal bone is squamous part also or squamous part of petrous part also uh, parietal bone and uh, occipital uh, bone and ethmoid bone ethmoid bone of cerebrum uh, um, cerebriform plate ethmoid bone cerebriform plate present in neurocranium in viscerocranium is ethmoid bone exclude the cerebriform plate uh, exclude the cerebrum excluding the cerebriform plate sphenoid bone pterygoid process maxilla zygomatic bone temporal bone uh, temporal bone Tem tympanic part styloid process mandible and vomer and inferior nasal uh, turbinate and palatine bone and uh, hyoid bone uh, if we talk about difference of the dysmocranium and chondrocranium so in dysmocranium is a present of uh, nasal bone lacrimal bone maxilla mandible zygomatic bone parental bone parietal bone occipital bone uh, upper part of the squamous temporal bone squamous part and tympanic part palatine bone and vomer uh, if we talk about uh, endocranium so it's uh, ethmoid bone and uh, sphenoid bone sphenoid part of uh, excluding the medial plating of the pterygoid process temporal bone teres uh, and mastoid part styloid process occipital bone excluding the upper part of the squama inferior nasal turbinate and hyoid bone now we see, now we see anterior view of the skull frontal bone frontal incisor here present it's a uh, supraorbital margin supraorbital margin it's a nasal bone here present sphenoid bone of laser wing inside present of the orbit ethmoid bone perpendicular plate 
inflorbital margin here present and uh, middle nasal concha here present vomer here present inferior nasal concha it's present here inferior anterior nasal spine it's present here parietal bone here present supraorbital foramen here present here um, present is uh, supraorbital margin here present of the supraorbital foramen sphenoid bone of uh, greater wing there present temporal bone uh, it's a part of orbit uh, it's a sphenoid bone of greater wing it's zygomatic bone and it's a periform anterior nasal perjure here uh, maxilla it's there it's infraorbital foramen teeth and mental foramen and mandible so uh, in anterior view of the skull the boundaries of the facial skeleton visorocranium can be dearly appreciated in this view the individual bones are shown in b the bony margins of the anterior nasal aperture mark the start of the respiratory tract in the skull the nasal cavity like the orbit and contain sensory organ uh, the orbital orbital mucosa the paranasal sinuses are shown uh, schematically in c the anterior view of the skull uh, also display are three clinically important of opening through the uh, which sensory nerves passes to sup um, supply the face the supraorbit margin supraorbit margin and infraorbit margin and mental um, foramen also see this diagram it's a part of uh, the cranial of anterior view uh, frontal bone nasal bone um, middle nasal concha and this is inferior nasal inferior nasal concha and this is mandible and this is maxilla and this is a zygomatic bone and this is the sphenoid bone of greater wing and uh, this is a temporal bone this is a sphenoid bone and this is a parietal bone see next part it's a diagram of the principal lines of the force in the facial skeleton so blue lines you are see mainly blue lines are uh, show the uh, frontal frontonasal pilar horizontal pilar and vertical zygomatic pilar so this is frontonasal pilar they are present and this is horizontal pilar their line horizontal zygomatic pilar and this vertical like that here vertical zygomatic pilar and precip um, and the you see in the in this diagram it's a lateral view so zygomatic uh, horizontal zygomatic pilar it's and uh, it's a frontonasal pilar and it's a vertical zygomatic pilar mainly the anterior view and be uh, lateral view the uh, pneumatized paranasal sinus is c c uh, have a mechanical counterpart in the thick and bony pilar of the fa um, facial skeleton which partially bound the sinus the uh, pilar develop along the principal line of the force is uh, in response to local mechanical stresses the mastectomy pressure in visual term the frame uh, like uh, construction of the facial skeleton may be um, likened to that of the frame house the paranasal sinuses represent the room while the pilar plays along major line of the force represent the supporting columns see in this diagram it's a diagram of the paranasal sinuses uh, called uh, pneumatization lightens the bone this is the frontal sinus and this is ethmoid cells green color and uh, sphenoid sinus also represent 
and the maxillary sinus is there and nasal cavity here present so uh, anterior view some of the bone of the facial skeleton are uh, pneumatized they contain air filled cavity that reduce the total weight of the bone this cavity called the paranasal sinuses communicate with the nasal cavity and like it uh, are lined by slated respiratory epithelium inflammation of nasal sinuses and associate uh, uh, complaint are very common because some of the pain of sinuses is uh, projected to the skin overlaying the sinuses it is helpful to know the projection of the sinuses onto the surface of the skull see in this next diagram it's a diagram of the leaf or classification of mid facial fracture so first diagram second and third in first diagram the fracture uh, line uh, uh, runs across the maxilla there uh, and above the hard plate the maxilla is separated from the upper face skeleton disturbed in integrity of the maxillary sinuses uh, it's a low transfer fracture and in second diagram the fracture line passes across the nasal root here nasal root uh, ethmoid bone maxilla zygomatic bone creating a pyramid fracture that disturb the integrity of the orbit in third diagram you see the facial skeleton is separated from the base of the skull this is the base of the skull uh, the main fracture line passes through the orbit and the fracture may additionally involve the ethmoid bone, frontal sinuses, sphenoid sinuses and zygomatic sinuses means zygomatic bone. See, this is the posterior view of the cranial suture of the skull. sagittal suture here present it's a parietal bone it's a lambdoid suture it's a occipital bone it's a uh, supreme nuchal line it's a supreme nuchal line it's a superior nuchal line it's inferior nuchal line it's a vomer uh, it's parietal bone and its mandible foramen and its maxilla palatine process its uh, incisive foramen its mandible its teeth and uh, its uh, sphenoid bone of pterygoid process its temporal bone sty uh, styloid process its uh, temporal bone of mastoid process its mastoid foramen and its temporal bone of petrous part its uh, temporal bone of squamous part mainly uh, the posterior view of the skull the occipital bone which is uh, dominated uh, dominated in this view articulate uh, articulate with the parietal bone to which it is connected by the lambdoid suture the cranial sutures are a special type of uh, syndesmosis ligamentous attachment that ossify with ages um, the outer surface of the occipital the outer surface of the occipital bone is uh, controlled by muscular origin and insertions and uh, inferior superior and supreme nuchal line see in this diagram its occipital bone, its vomer, its palatine bone, its maxilla, its phenoid bone, its temporal bone of petrous part, its temporal bone of squamous part, its parietal bone, its mandible. Mainly the in uh, diagram, uh, temporal bone consists of two part based uh, its uh, embryonic development, uh, squamous uh, um, part and the petrous part next you see this diagram it's a diagram of neonatal skull it's anterior fontanely it's anterior fontanely it's coronal suture it's here sphenoid fontanely 
इट्स एयर स्पिनोइड पेराइटल सूचर इट्स एयर मेस्टोइड फंटेनली इट्स लैमडोइड सूचर एंड इट्स पोस्टीयर फंटेनली सी इन दिस डायग्राम दिस इज सुपीरियर व्यू दिस इज सुपीरियर व्यू दिस इज लेटर व्यू सो फ्रंटल सूचर हेयर प्रेजेंट एंटीर फंटेनली एंड क्रोनल फंटेनली एंड सजाइटल सूचर पोस्टीयर फंटेनली मेनली दी फ्लैट क्रैनियल बोन्स मस्ट ग्रो एज दी ब्रेन एक्सपैंड एंड सो दी सूचर बिटवीन मस्ट रिमेन ओपन फॉर सम टाइम्स इन दी न्यू नेट देर आर एरिया बिटवीन दी स्टील ग्रोइंग क्रैनियल बोन्स दैट आर नॉट ऑक्यूपाइड बाय बोन दी फंटेनली दे क्लोज एट डिफरेंट टाइम दी स्पिनोड फंटेनली इन दी अबाउट ऑफ सिक्स मंथ ऑफ लाइफ मेस्टोइड फंटेनली इन दी एटीन मंथ एंड एंडियर फंटेनली इज थर्टी सिक्स मंथ अगेन रिपीट दी स्पिनोड फंटेनली इज सिक्स मंथ ऑफ लाइफ एंड फंटेनली मेस्टोइड फंटेनली इज एटीन मंथ लाइफ एंड एंटीरियर फंटेनली इज थर्टी सिक्स मंथ लाइफ so this posterior frontally provide a reference point of descending the position of fast head during childhood birth and the anterior frontally provide a pos possible exercise for drawing a cerebral fluid uh, sample in infant uh, example it's uh, suspected meningitis see in this diagram A part B, C, and D. A is a sagittal suture, and B is a coronal suture, and C is frontal suture, and A is a symmetrical suture because all are cranial deformatized due to uh, premature closure of cranial sutures. So, uh, premature closure of a cranial sutures. Uh, cranial synostosis may lead the character cranial deformities the following sutures may close perma, uh, prematurely resulting in various and uh, cranial shapes so in sagittal sutures uh, cephago cephali because it's long and uh, narrow skull long and narrow skull uh, coronal suture is uh, oxycephali because it's pointed skull C is frontal suture trigonocephaly is a triangular skull. Asymmetrical suture closure usually involve the coronal suture plagiocephaly. It's asymmetric like that. See this diagram A and B. It's a diagram of the hydrocephalus and microcephaly. Uh, first, a part is show a characteristic cranial morphology in uh, hydrocephalus when the brain is become dilated due to cerebrospinal fluid accumulation uh, before the cranial suture ossify. Hydrocephalus water in the brain, the neurocranium will expand while the facial skeleton remain unchanged. Microcephaly result from premature closure of the cranial suture. It uh, is characteristic by the small neurocranium and uh, with relatively large orbit. Well, see this table. Uh, so frontal suture is uh, childhood age of ossification. Sagittal suture is uh, 30 to 40 year of uh, age of ossification. Coronal suture uh, is uh, 30 to 40 year of, of age uh, at uh, ossification lambdoid suture is 40 to 50 year of uh, age ossification thank you guys in next class we are study about uh, exterior and interior of uh, clavaria thank you